So Ryan Garcia is back again and he just keeps digging himself into a deeper hole. I thought I should do a follow up video as we might not see him for a while after this. I genuinely think he could end up in a psych ward pretty soon as he seems to be getting worse. In this video he doubles down on his insane, clearly made up stories, addresses his alleged gambling debts with more ridiculous lies, makes claims of miracles and as you might have gathered from the thumbnail, he is running for president. You couldn't make this shit up. If you missed part one, here's a quick catch up. So people have been calling into question Ryan's mental state after some slightly off podcast appearances. Then a load of strange tweets, which trafficking con man Andrew Tate asked him about on the next call. Ryan went off the rails here and made some insane claims. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get I don't give a fuck anymore. Which, let's be honest, it seems he made up. Over the next few days, he keeps streaming. Naturally, everyone in the chat keeps asking about the event, but Ryan mysteriously backs out of his original claims and instead diverts attention to more generic child trafficking claims. Just some stuff he got off Google. And child abuse conspiracy theories about Bohemian Grove and Adrenochrome, which are 100% from retarded conspiracy videos like this. I pointed out my hunch for Ryan's real motives, which were gambling debts, which he addresses in this rant. Stay tuned for that, as it's fucking hilarious. So now you're caught up, he's back again this time with super annoying, devout Christian George Janko, who surprise surprise has featured on the channel before, only briefly, but Bible bashing George was interviewing sex trafficking rapist Andrew Tate, helping to clear his name of all the rips he's going on trial for. An odd decision for someone so moral, someone so Christian. But Jesus loves everyone I suppose, even the sex trafficking rapists that have left Christianity and shit on it regularly. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm amazing. How are you doing? My Vada test says I'm clean. So if my Vada test says I'm clean, you shouldn't worry about me. Oh, no, I just worry about my friends when uh, everybody's telling me to worry about it. But how are you doing? I've been trying to get a hold of you. I haven't been able to get a hold of you. You know, a lot's been going on, bro. I've been doing a lot of moves. And just every day I'm relentless against these pedophile and fucking asshole bitch ass motherfucking devil worshippers and if nobody gets behind me they're also devil worshippers low key indirectly or directly they're fucking devil worshippers if you do not spread that 460,000 kids go missing a year and are sold to auction and are eaten and burnt in front of themselves and literally get abused non-stop outside this is real facts Everybody thinks I'm tripping, but I'm not tripping. If you've seen the shit I've seen, you would never be the same. The fact that I'm still alive is, is, is a testimony to Jesus Christ. The fact that I'm still alive is a testimony to Jesus Christ. They literally do this and nobody cares. Everybody's like, can you be quiet for once? Why the fudge would I be quiet when they did this to little kids? And, and everybody's like, can you prove that you were in the woods? Why is everybody focused on that? Obviously, I am going to prove it, and I'm taking it to Congress on what they did to me. And everybody thinks it's, it's funny. It's not funny. You would never be the same if this shit happened to you. No. You would never be the same. Absolutely not. And, and I, I, I completely understand your point of view. And I think that you need to understand when people are telling you this, they're not saying it from a place of hatred. They love you. They're worried about you. Straight off the bat, he's deflecting again, banging on about his drug test. Coke stays in your system maybe two days, plenty of time to recover. But anyway, notice Ryan's at home, I think. He does not stop walking this entire video. Reminded me of a caged animal at a zoo losing its mind to pacing around. I don't really know much about George Janko. Seems nice in a kind of simple, deluded Christian way. But I do know he fell out with Logan Paul partly because of his annoying habit of bringing Jesus into every conversation. Give an example. Of what One that saying. really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. No, that I one hurt me. No, I didn't. I said, you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you. I bring this up because George gets a taste of his own medicine here. This is what it's like for a normal, intelligent person to have to listen to a religious nutjob talk complete shit. Listen to this next bullshit rant. Funny how society's biggest bullshitters always seem to hide behind religion. I get I understand it can get overwhelming, but just let's take a step back for a second. Like, you want to go to Congress and you, and you want to... No, I am to going to congress i don't want to go to congress yeah. i am going to congress and i'm going to take these motherfuckers down because the same people that are fucking the politicians are some of the people and i know everybody gets scared but if you if you only fear god why would i be scared to say the things i'm saying if i really trust god if i really love him then i wouldn't be scared even of the cia fia whatever you want to call it i only fear god Amen. so if you're not god I'm absolutely 
Absolutely. And and I'm very, very proud of you for standing on your business. If it, everything that you're saying is to come into fruition and it's true. But my question is, why now and where did this come from? I had an epiphany in 2021 mm -hmm. and my dad was a witness. The, I literally was visited by angels in, in early 2021. And then I was trying to make sense of it. Then I knocked out Luke Campbell with the body shot when God told me I was going to knock him out to the body shot. So I started crying in the ring. Everybody thought I was crying because I won. I was crying because of what God told me came to pass. And, that's and if you don't mind me asking, how did God speak to you? Was it through a parable? Was it through the verses? Was it, it, was, a dream? it, it was through so many ways, mainly through confirmation to what I was feeling in my spirit. Yeah. But then when I started getting visited by angels and then, um, and then the stuff would happen in the ring and I would have so much power that I couldn't explain. Um, it was obviously prevalent that God is calling me. So after that, I told God, I said, God, um, who am I? I prayed that prayer. Who, who am I? Why do I know all this? Lord, why are you giving me all this information? So in the nighttime, he tells me the massage at the time was my fiance and newborn baby. As I was massaging, and Andrea, she kept on getting the chills nonstop. Like she said, every time I touched her, just touched her, she got chills. And then all he did was tell me was, tap your baby with your finger. Boom, knocked out. Knocked out all night. Everybody who knows, if you have a newborn baby, they, they, they always wake up at night. Always. So, so after that, God literally was teaching me how to cleanse myself. I took a shower and I, I, I knew things that I never knew before. Then after that, I was praying in the spirit and I was reading the Bible and then boom, it comes in and it goes, go to Samuel one time and I get the chills and I start going, yeah, I don't do cocaine. I already showed you guys. I don't see now you're disrespecting testimony of my, my time of Jesus. And that is a big issue because I'm only talking the truth. So if I say these things and I'm lying, you know the power of the Holy Spirit. I would be dead on the spot. You know that. You know that. I would be dead. If I'm lying, God, strike me down right now. See, exactly. I'm not going to die because I'm telling the truth. At the end of the day, it goes, go to Samuel again with exclamation marks. I start tripping. I said, it got to be from, because at the time I wasn't drinking at all. At the time, I was sober completely off of nothing for over a year. So, in, the, in saying that, it, it, we came again. Go to Samuel with a thumbs up. After that, it was three times. After three times, I knew it was God. And so are you God talking, comes in talking about Samuel, the, the prophet yeah. Samuel? Yes, he said, go to the book of Samuel. Mm -hmm. So and I what did you find in the book of Samuel? It said exactly this. And he was called, Samuel was called exactly where he usually laid. I was laying down exactly where I usually lay. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And then it also said he was called three times. Three times. I was called three times. So I knew the Lord was speaking to me. And I said, Lord, I'm here. I'm here to listen. I'm your servant. I'm here to listen. And after that, I went into a trance almost like, like Paul says, I was, I don't know if I was in my body or out my body. I have no, I have no idea. And, and I, I don't know. Okay, so you had the calling three times. You're sober for a year. Yes. You're laying in rest in the same way that Samuel's laying in rest. Okay, let's pin it there. I'm following you. I'm understanding everything you're saying. I'm with you. You're making perfect sense. See what I mean? George getting a nice first-hand taste of religious bullshit. But because he's part of the club, he can't say anything. He has to pretend that everything Ryan says isn't retarded. Next, Ryan will do some psychic reading with very predictable results. Everything. You were saying that you were at the age of two yes. and uh, it, i'm so sorry you had to deal with this type of this no, life I, but I how, if you don't mind me asking where i was when did you find this out do you remember when you were two or was, did somebody inform you this afterwards like where did this um i'll give you an example i could tell you things only you know yeah. within five questions okay if you give me five questions i could tell you something about yourself that only you know you want me to give you five no. questions if if you let me ask you five questions, yeah, 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 I could tell you something that only you know. If you really want it, okay, you have to accept it. I accept okay. it. Let me go into prayer real quick. Okay. How long have you and, been with your girlfriend? How long have you been with your girlfriend? Four years. Mm. Do 
you ever struggle with jealousy? Absolutely. Does that, does that come from a prior experience with her? Does it come? Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Are you talking about jealousy with her or just in general? In, 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 in terms of, because now if I ask another question, that counts as my fourth. Is this counting as another question? No, no, that's not, that's not a part of your questions. I was just trying to clarify the, first, the second one. The jealousy, so the I get jealous was, of like, like a natural jealousy. jealousy. Jealousy comes from anything she's done from the past as well. Oh, oh, no, no. Thank God, no. Okay. Okay. That was two questions, correct? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever felt like she might have been cheating on you? Thank God, no. Okay. That's three questions, yeah. correct? I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling grandma. How's your grandma doing? My grandma, she right now, she could be doing better. Mm -hmm. How did I know this? Well, generally, people's grandmothers are. No, no. Oh, how did I know something was going on with your grandma? That's the fifth question. Okay, okay. Okay, so are you saying you're prophesying? Yes, I am. I know what's happening to your grandma. I know she's going through something. Mm. How do I know this? Ask yourself this question. How do I know? Have you ever told me your grandma's going through something? Realistically, that, that, that's a pretty, like, general, no. like, usually 99% no. of grandmas are not doing well. No, that's not true. There's many old women that are actually doing great. I have a 98-year-old grandma, or 90, she's in her 90s, and she's doing perfectly fine. Oh, I, God bless her. So that's not, not necessarily true. How do I know this? Is it cancer? You're, are, you, are you claiming that God gave you this? I'm just saying, is it cancer? All I'm oh, asking oh, is, is it cancer? Oh, no, no, it's not cancer. Okay, is it a sickness? I, I, it's just her getting to her age. She's getting to her time. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking about. So at the end of the day, I never even knew your grandma. I didn't know anything. I just, I just know things in my spirit. It seems right up to question four, Ryan's psychic powers for suggesting George's girlfriend is cheating on him. Then a classic Garcia backtrack to getting the feeling George's elderly grandma might have some health issues. Now for some more bullshit and his explanation as to why he's down so much gambling. So when you're so confident in the spirit, I walk in the spirit, I don't care what anybody says, they can say what they want. All my people can literally vouch for me. That's why they stick by my side because they've seen very a lot of miracles that I've done in front of them. There was a time I literally hit um, four times in a row on roulette, $250,000. I cracked the code of gambling. I would actually be profitable in Aria. I'm actually the top five most profitable gamble of all time, and I would have done it more. But the thing is, I tip over $700,000 in Aria. And they said if you didn't tip so much, you would have been, uh, uh, you would have been up millions. But I don't, because I don't care about money. I, I, see, because I don't love money, money love me. Seems pretty legit. Won the jackpot four times in a row. That must only be like a billion to one. And Tips is the reason he's not in the world's top five gamblers. I thought the next five minutes, as it's one of the dumbest, mind-numbingly boring conversations about religious scripture I've ever heard. But they eventually arranged a meet where Ryan says he will present his evidence. Hmm. Then the bombshell you've been waiting for. Look out, Donald Trump. Ryan Garcia is coming. I'm right here with you, bro. If you ever want to meet me and show me the evidence that you have, and you're like, hey, this is what we're going to run with, bro, I'll drop my podcast. If you if you show me the evidence of what you said to be true, okay. I'll drop everything and stand next to you and defend are you. you and promising, we go to war. Are you promising? Is that a promise? 100% a pro hundred promise. 100% a promise? I'll, I'll fly to you right now. Okay, say less. Come come through. Where are you at? I'm in. Okay, well, well, I well, well, text me, text me. Yeah, I'll text you. Bye. Okay. I love you. Love you. Peace. All right, guys. On that note, man, I love you guys. Like I said, man, y'all do what y'all want to do. Make your stories up. I'm going to debunk every single one of them. It's all good. Um, George is going to come visit me. And once he drops his podcast and sees all the proof that I have, it's up, you know. And, and I am running for president. I don't care. I'm running for president. King Ryan for president we're gonna change the law from the age group from 35 years old you gotta be to 25 
and I'm gonna pull this off. So there you have it, Ryan Garcia is definitely losing it, or has lost it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Get subs to stay on the loop, maybe leave a like or a comment. This has been Contraband, thanks for watching.